pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV. We are located in Federal, Colorado. Hey guys, today we, I want to show you a 2023 Freightliner M2 106. This one is a Summit Hauler conversion. And I've gotten a lot of calls about questions on the 106s and of course the 112s. This one came in. Um, we're going to show you some of the cool features we have on our Summit Haulers and for all those out there, you know, trying to decide on what route they want to take. I mean, there's so many awesome conversions out there. We support every single one. Um, we've, get, we've gotten all those on trade from the Western Hauler down to Loretto and from the sports truck. All of those have been on our lot before. But our Summit Hauler kind of stands out a little bit more. And I'm going to show, point out some of the features on here. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment on the slot below. Or you guys could call me after this video. My number will be at the bottom of that screen. And for all those who have been calling me just from seeing my videos, I want to thank you guys again for tuning in and always watching our videos and commenting and, of course, calling us and hopefully potentially earning you guys business. So with no further ado, as you guys can see, the exterior on this particular unit is black. Again, we do have some chrome highlights throughout this unit. One thing you guys will not see on this truck right now or today is our front grill. This one was back ordered, so we were waiting on the, those parts to come in. But again, the front end will be awesome looking because you have the chrome free piece that will come over here, cover down here, and of course cover underneath here. But again, having that three piece bumper on, this, on those trucks, and again, you'll find that three piece bumper on every single freight liner, a majority of the freight liners out there. Unless if the, you know, a customer decides to take this out, and add that front end grill that will cover the and protect the whole front end. And that's something we can get um, ordered here and put on any of our freight liners. The full grill typically takes about six to eight weeks to get and install because it's out of the country that we ordered it from. And of course, you do have the option of the X Guard grill. Again, this one will be mounted in the interior here and cover that front end and that typically takes about just under a week to get here depending on the type of uh, um, design you're looking for on that particular um, front end grill so led headlamps on the newer units from the end of 2021 we ended up doing or oh, freightliner ended up upgrading the headlamps to the leds and those are pretty awesome looking at night tow hooks and again a lot of people see the front end of those trucks and realize this is so big how can i go underneath the the hood and check stuff out again this is very easy there two, the one strap on each side undo those straps and there is a handle up here very easy i've had kids come here and show their parents they could do it i've had wives come and show their husbands they could do it so it's very easy to open and close so don't be intimidated by the size of the hood is very easy to open and close and of course underneath the hood here what you guys are looking at is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine and it's also partnered with the Allison 3200 TRV six-speed automatic transmission this unit right now will produce 360 horsepower and again you can see the difference in horsepower from the earlier years to the later years uh, when they started off with like 300 and then the 330 then the 350 now they're at 360 and of course the transmission and you get 11 50 foot pounds of torque on this engine as well and transmission again freightliner does an amazing job everything here is clearly labeled and one of the things you look for when you open the engine is seeing the color of it and typically all red engines are typically the cummins so that's the trademark to know exactly what you're looking at Everything here is clearly labeled. Like I always say, you have your fuel filter, water separator right here, power steering fluid, and the list goes on from your fuse boxes all the way down to your negative and positive uh, studs here for jumping. And of course, when you look at the tires, we got some awesome tires on there. Freightliner does an amazing job putting Michelin's on here. Those are 255 ADR 22.5s. And for some reason, if you decide to buy one of those units and you want to make sure that the tires matches the truck, on the side of the door, when we open it up a little bit later, I'll show you guys where to look for 
the actual tires. So if in case down the line you want to change those tires, I've had some customers in the past who change those tires off and put, you know, smaller tires or bigger tires. Again, we uh, Freeliner put the tires on here that would match the truck and especially with the weight and all what you'll be doing with that truck. So those tires will match this truck. I want to come around to the other side here quickly. Um, I've had a question this morning about the air dryer system. And some, you know, a lot of times we tend to kind of go around the other way and not point out that air dryer system. So I had that question this morning, so I wanted to point it out. So this little area right here, this is the air dryer. Again, a lot of people ask what that does. This truck comes fully air uh, with air supplies, so you have air brakes, you got the air ride seats, air ride cab, air ride back suspension. So all that needs air coming in. So we have two compressors underneath the truck. One would be the primary and secondary. And the air dryer system, what it does is all the moisture that'll be trying to go into those compressors, that air dryer system will actually drop it or stop it from going in here and causing all that moisture and of course with moisture comes water with water comes rust so it will avoid all that so that's what the air dryer system does on those trucks and you will find it on both 106s and 112 so this air dryer system comes very handy again i'm going to close this hood again to show you how easy it is you just push on it and allow it to drop again if as you guys could see it has that soft close Again, it will not close 100% of the way. All you guys got to do is just give it a little nudge or a little tap, whatever you want to call it, and then strap down both sides of that hood. So remember to do that every single time you open up the hood of the truck. I've seen people in the past driving down the road with one, one of the straps off. And of course, with the wind and all that, you just see this bouncing and of course, with that pressure, you never know if it could undo the other end. So just for a safety rule, every time you open it, just ensure that you tie down both of those. Above the V, above this truck, we have two dual horns. So we do have the air horn system on this one. Um, you have those brick brick weight mirrors, and this particular one on the driver side has an antenna. This one is pre-wired for a CB radio. Again, when I call this the breakaway mirrors, in case you are driving in a tight spot or you end up hitting that mirror on a branch, on a wall, whatever the case may be, this will not just snap and break. It will actually close itself. So all you guys gotta do is just come out or open the window and push it back in place. So again, to avoid damaging the mirror, this system, comes in very handy again this truck is certified all 50 states this one does come with a engine block heater our new design step comes with a door here that is lockable and it has 250 gallon diesel tanks one on each side 50 on each side so 100 gallons in total six gallon def tank again this closes and of course you could lock it so nobody could go in there when you're fueled up or you park at a truck stop. Again, awesome LED lights throughout the sides of the truck as I open up that side door. We have a black interior, black leather seats. The seats are, the front seats are heated and it is air ride as well. Switch right here is a lumbar switch. Right underneath here, you have your battery disconnect. On the side of the door, it gives you all the information here from your front GVWR, your rear, the total GVWR, which is 19.5. Kind of tells you your tires as well, 255 ADR, 22.5s. So a lot of information about the truck will be on the, the side of the door. A few things that we added onto our Summit haulers is that door panel. Those door panels will be the same on all four doors with that Kenwood speaker. We kind of change the speakers around sometimes depending on um, how everything is going in terms of uh, 
the availability of those speakers. So in some of those, you'll find the Kicker sound system or the Kenwood. That's a two that we go with a lot. Again, you have that deep handle here. We do have a two-tone in here with the black handles and that carbon fiber look. So that one does pop that black a little bit more. Again, your key switch right here and all your light options over here. Typically when we're inside, we don't show this too much because it's out of the way. So your light switch is here to turn on your, your, your driving lights and you have an increase and a decrease button that will change the, the setting on how bright your lights are on the dash. As we keep going, underneath those back seats, underneath this pad, behind this panel here, you will access those batteries. So if you want to charge those batteries, we do have a, a quick connect over here for your battery conditioner. So you can charge those batteries up when you're not using it. Again, if you want to replace those batteries, you, there's four screws here to remove. This panel comes off very easy. And then you access your batteries. Once you're done, you put this back in place. But as you guys look at the back seat here, we have the back bench again. Those seats are super comfortable. Again, that's for me to say and for you to find out. Um, I've had customers come in all the time and sit in those seats. Very, very comfortable. That seat does turn into a bed. The switch is now located on that door panel behind the driver. So you could access that and it will go all the way down into a bed. One thing I want to mention is uh, that center console Underneath here, you get all charging options here. So you have about four USB plugins, two 12 volts, and two 110 plugins here. So again, we have a lot of families that go on trips. They have kids with phones and iPads now. That's all they do, watch movies, go on different social media platforms, and they need to charge their phone on long, on long trips. So having enough charging for your passengers and the driver, if in case you have more stuff there. Um, I mean, that's a lot of charging. So three people alone could sit in the back. So that's enough charging for three people in the back. So you have different options there as well. Let's take a look at the bed. Um, let's start with the storage compartments. Again, we try to use as much space as we can. Every single inch that's underneath there that's available we will turn that into storage space. So this goes all the way in here and all the way back here. You do have an air supply as well for putting air in your trailers. Again, all those storage boxes are lockable. We do have another back storage here. Again, all the space that we, we could get, we're gonna make that into storage. Dual tires in the back. We do put auto balancers on all four corners of our trucks so those actually auto balances the vehicle while driving and of course gives you more life on your tires you can check out the back that's something that we decided to do we decided to black out the whole back end so we spray bed line the bulkhead all the way down to the bed of the truck and of course that groove or that area over here all spray bed line again before coming to pick up the unit, you could decide on what hitch you want. If you just want a straight goose, uh, gooseneck ball and the chain tie downs, you'll have, you can put that on here. Or you could go with the Hensley Trailer Saver Hitch. We have all those in stock here at our location. And of course, with time um, and scheduling right, we'll be able to install that in no time here at our location. So that's one of the cool things about having a great parts team and a great service department here in Frederick that we could get a lot of stuff done before you get here. So having that hitch, having this truck without a hitch gives you the option of choosing which one you want and not having to go back and remove something to put something else. So we already have those pre-drilled. Thanks to our guys here at Salient Designs. I wanna thank you guys for doing an amazing job with our units. And again, having it pre-drilled makes it easy for our service department guys so you can see the holes in here each hole means something so once we're ready to hook up whatever you decide to put on here it's ready to go another thing that you guys cannot see right here but if you guys do want the 
air supply for your air, air trailer, for your air brakes. This is pre-wired. This is all set up already. Underneath this plate here, we do have all the hoses for that um, glide hand system. Typically when we get those orders in and people want it installed on the truck, we typically put it right here, away from your leg space going in and out of the truck. And of course, just in a great position. So when you hook up your trailer, you could actually plug in directly over here. So you have that option with the air supply for your trailer. So these, those trucks, those Summit haulers does come pre-equipped with those glide hand setups. So it all depends on if you guys are gonna have that trailer, we'll be able to set that up for you. It's super cheap to get that done. So just let us know and we'll get that uh, all hooked up for you. Right now, it's because you could see it's all black, you could actually see the two silver holes on that bulkhead area. This is for a storage box, okay? So if you decide to add a storage box to this truck, you could actually get a spray bed line the same way so it all matches. Or if you get the, the, the chrome silver look, you could get that as well. But again, those holes are very easy. Um, so when you get that storage box, all the parts will be in that box when it arrives to your house. Super light, two people could put it on there. Again, if you need more help, the more help, the better. But you just put it on towards the back end. Those holes will match up because we'll take it, we'll take the, uh, we'll build that storage box, Vint Pacific. So we'll build it for this particular truck and then it will match up exactly to those holes. You screw it down and that's it. Very easy to install. So that's why within six to eight weeks, it will be made and shipped to your location. It will come on a pallet and of course, very easy to install on that truck. A lot of people ask about those tracks. You see three of them. One and it's two long ones and a short one in the middle. Those are adjustable tie down um, rails. So you do have the adjustable areas here. And of course you could add as many rings as you want on this system. So if in case you're not pulling a trailer and you want to pull a side-by-side -side or four wheelers or even a smaller car or whatever the case may be, and you want to roll it up here, you could actually use those tie downs to strap those down. We have one Voyager camera set up already. Again, you could add additional cameras if you need, but we do have one already set up on this truck for your backup camera. Same storage boxes you have on the previous side, you have on over here. And of course, that other fuel tank Again, it's a 50 gallon tank, so it's located over on this side. All right, let's jump inside. I'm gonna show you the interior features. And as we come in, I am like almost standing straight. I am 5'10". Um, I mean, I have a little I'm in a position where I could kind of stand all the way. But again, with the, with the height or the headroom on those trucks, that's one of the safety features a lot of people look for, especially driving down the road, especially the driver. You could actually see everything in front of you. And as Jody comes a little bit closer, you guys will see how clear it is when driving a truck like this. Again, huge windshield. Again, you might guys might see it and it'd be like, oh my God, that's a lot. But again, very easy to see what's happening in front of you. This one does come equipped with satellite radio. It also equipped with, like I said, it's pre-drilled. It's pre-wired for a CB radio. And a lot of people like to install it over here. You will see some of those trucks come with those plates here. And again, they use those plates to install those CB radios. They will punch a hole wherever you guys decide to mount that. And again, we could do that right here at this location. I've done it a few times. CB radio install over here. You got your Voyager camera system up here. Over on the, on the left hand side, you're gonna see this string. This is for the air horn. Right below that over here is your microphone for your, for your um, hands-free calling. You got your awesome steering wheel, very comfortable, wrapped with leather. Right across here, we have your engine brake. Again, you'll see two switches. Sometimes you see one switch on certain freight liners. 
again that's something they're trying to um, build where you have an on and off switch for your engine brake and then you have your high and low setting over here so again if you see two switches like this one will turn the engine brake on the other one will engage six or three cylinders whichever you decide to use over on this side here you have your cruise control this switch will turn it on again this will set and accelerate if you want to turn that off you can turn it off over here you have your marker light you have your traction control red differential lock your allison six-speed automatic transmission you got a few charging options up here uh, four usb ports your rear fan ac and heat uh, driver access to all four windows you do have a optional switch this one actually will turn on that cargo light in the back again sometimes you'll get a cargo light switch by itself sometimes you get an optional switch which is that cargo light switch here so in some it's a spare switch and on others it's the cargo light switch hidden mirrors you got your uh, back rear suspension dump so you could dump all the air in the back of that truck go into your trailer once you're done you could release the air and all that air will come back on the back suspension light test button that will test all your lights if in case you're traveling alone you turn that light switch on it will have a countdown so it will not work right off the bat once you turn it on it will actually pause the radio and pause some of the lighting on the dash so don't be don't be freaked out when that happens so once you turn that on it will have like a 10 second countdown gives you enough time to get out of the vehicle and start walking around once that triggers all the lights will be flashing except your cargo lights so to know if your cargo lights are working you come in and turn that optional switch button or if you have the cargo light button itself on here you can turn that on and make sure all your lights work once you plug in your trailer those trailer lights will be blinking as well so you have that option here to walk around your whole rig before you hit the road parking brake your orange your yellow here will be your parking brake and then that red will be your trailer air supply again it's clearly labeled it tells you what each one does we do we do work with the red arc trailer brake system as you guys can see small out of out of the way very easy tucked in very well well designed again very easy to work with over here you have your hdmi and usb switch here once you plug into that you have access to your apple and android capability on your stinger stereo sound system as we own the stereo sound system here like i mentioned earlier it does have xm radio am fm bluetooth it does also comes with navigation so you have your navigation on here as well a lot of people love to use their phones so that's why we have the option of plugging it in for apple and android capability your cab ac and heat cup holders nice little storage box in here again this one does have a led light so once the key is on and you open this up the light will come on once you close it it will go off tons of room here tons of leg room air ride front seats storage compartment up here and one of the things people look at is that roof again we do design this a little bit different uh, we do have reading lights here we do have our mood light and i need to turn the vehicle on so you guys could actually see what it looks like again and you do have your reading lights that will come on again with those reading lights you have cool lights under here as well two white lights and the red lights for driving at night you have those same lights in the back of the cab as well for your back passengers again cool leather seats this unit will have a little bit more mileage because some of the units they use those units um to run around and make sure everything is working well on those units and again some of the units again do have that test on the road so this one has about 2,000 miles again you'll see, you'll see some of those new units with mileage like that just because of those tests and again running from the factory to the location of our conversion company so again 2,000 miles brand new all the warranty is on on this truck just came from the factory like i said we'll get that front grill put in very soon but again this one is available on the market so if you guys have any questions about our summit haulers have options want to add or 
remove any of the products we have on it like let's say you decide if it had a storage box you don't want a storage box like we have the hitch open up you could choose what hitch you want again there's stuff we could add on from the factory if, um, if you want to build one and add dvd players or add more cameras or whatever the case may be you let us know ahead of time and we'll see if that's something we could do at our conversion company as it's in production if not we'll have to look for one down the line to be able to order those parts in time in the meantime thank you guys for tuning in today this has been a 2023 freightliner m2 106 summit hauler conversion brand new on the market right now so if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out my number is at the bottom of this video and i'll be happy to answer all of your questions <clears throat> in the meantime stay tuned for more videos here at transwest live and i'll see you guys next time